Greetings YouTube, my name is Alex and I am the Reef Talk and today I'm going to take a look at the Giesemann Stella T5 LED Hybrid. So first off we're going to take a quick look at the difference between an LED tank and a T5 tank. While T5s give a more even spread of light and have produced outstanding growth results for years, it just makes your tank look a little flat and your corals won't glow under blue lights. Now for me that's a compromise I'm not willing to make. I want my tank to look its best for me, but I don't like the shading you get with LEDs and you have to plan your rockscape more carefully to make sure your corals are in the peak position to get the best lighting. So the perfect solution is to have a hybrid for the best of both worlds. But have Giesemann got it right? Well at first glance it looks decent enough. The Stella has four T5 tubes, a pretty casing and fits more or less any LED unit in the middle. But there are plenty of things not to like about it. Straight off the bat, the packaging gives the impression of a product that isn't expected to catch the eye in your local fish shop. Unlike the packaging you get from the likes of Kessel, Ecotech and other premium brands. And there's probably a reason that the Germans haven't spent any time on the packaging. You can't buy the Stella in the shops. I ordered mine from Giesemann directly after my local fish shop spent three weeks trying and failing to get hold of one. Then when you get into the packaging you need to reach for your spanners. Giesemann has taken the IKEA approach so there is some assembly required. Now granted it's not exactly a taxing build but they might as well not have bothered with the instruction manual for all the good it does. There's no guide as to how to set up the hanging kit so you have to look for photos online and hope to find a decent close-up. You'll also be left with spare bolts at the end with no hint as to what they might be for. But it gets worse. The screw threads for the end plates are so tight you're likely to shred the screw head installing them. In fact I couldn't even get the screws all the way in. And because the Stella comes in two banks of lights it has two plugs which frankly is the last thing a reefer needs. Now those of you who watch BRS TV videos will know the difference cooling makes to power output. But the Stella doesn't have any cooling fans, so it has to make do with passive cooling by way of vents, which is likely to reduce efficiency. And while the casing is very pretty, Giesemann didn't think to paint the LED brackets, so they don't match the colour of the Stella or your LEDs. But the worst part is yet to come, the acrylic shields are locked in by the end brackets, so if you want to access the bulbs you have to unscrew the end plates and that means either taking the entire unit down or resting it precariously on top of your tank and even then it's just a massive faff. So far then it's not looking too good but it does have one redeeming feature it's absolutely brilliant. The look and finish of the unit itself is fantastic. It also comes in black if you prefer to match to the colour of your LED unit or your tank cabinet. The smooth polished paintwork is a thing of beauty and far easier on the eye than any other T5 unit I've seen. And it's functional too. Giesemann incorporated recesses along the length of the unit which are perfect for hiding excess hanging wires. Something that usually looks awful either coiled up at the ceiling or hanging down the back of your tank. It's also lightweight and that makes it easier to hang. This 900mm unit weighs around 6kg including the Kessel LEDs and that's around half the weight of the equivalent ATI hybrid. And the screws for the side brackets I mentioned earlier are easily fixable. You just need to dry screw into the entry points a few times to loosen it up. In fact I bought a box of wood screws that fit perfectly and hold strongly and that way if I have problems with the thread heads I have a bunch of spare screws to hand. You can also easily paint the LED brackets to match the Stella and tidy up the look and the pictures on Giesemann's website suggest the black unit comes with black LED brackets already. Now while the bulb access is a hassle it's only a problem once a year and I for one plan on making small cuts in the brackets for easy access. All Giesemann needs to do is update the design of the brackets and the problem is fixed. And then there's the price. An ATI hybrid unit will set you back over a thousand pounds. The 900mm Giesemann Stella costs less than 400 pounds. 
Now the chances are you already have an LED light to go in the middle, so you can spend the money you save on better filtration, flow, extra LEDs, or even better, more livestock to gawk at under your beautiful new lights. And of course with T5s you get a much brighter tank with fewer shaded areas, plus the benefit of improved light spectrum and PAR for better coral health and growth, while also getting the controllability, colour and coral pop of LEDs with the added bonus of beautiful shimmer. And that really is why we're all here in the first place, to give our corals the best possible light for their own well-being while maximising our all-important viewing pleasure. So there you have it then, a really, really good bit of kit and absolutely a challenger for the aquatic life hybrid. If you enjoyed the video then give me a thumbs up and subscribe and check out some of my other content. And until next time, I've been the Reef Dog. Thank you, good night.